अब हम पढ़ेंगे द ग्रोथ ऑफ बायो एथिक्स एज आई टोल्ड यू बिफोर दैट द बायो एथिक्स इज वन ऑफ द ब्रांच ऑफ अप्लाइड एथिक्स बायो एथिक्स इज मेनली एसोसिएटेड विद द ब्रांचेस ऑफ लाइफ साइंसेस सो वॉट हाउ द ग्रोथ ऑफ बायो एथिक्स टेक्स प्लेस इट टेक्स प्लेस इन थ्री फॉर्म्स ऑरिजन ऑफ नोशन ऑफ बायो एथिक्स नोशन मीन्स तस्वुर आप बायो एथिक्स के बारे में क्या सोचते हैं वॉट इज द आइडिया अबाउट बायो एथिक्स हाउ यू थिंक अबाउट इट दिस कैन बी डिस्क्राइब इन टू वेज इन टू पब्लिकेशन वन इज ऑफ पोटर एंड द सेकेंड वन इज ऑफ कलांस पोटर पब्लिश हिज बुक्स बायो एथिक्स द सर्वाइवल ऑफ साइंस सो ही डिस्क्राइब्ड और इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बायो एथिक्स एज अ ग्लोबल मूवमेंट वाइल कलांस ही डिस्क्राइब्ड द बायो एथिक्स एज एन एकेडेमिक डिसिप्लिन because he published his books bioethics as a discipline so it should be there should be academic discipline related to bioethics for example joseph and kennedy he they developed an institute related to human reproduction and bioethics which is now commonly known as kennedy's institute of ethics now the second origin of bioethics or the growth of bioethics is the origin of academic discipline and of institutions now academic discipline and institutions they go in, in hand in hand they work in harmony with each other they can not work independently rather they work in cooperation with each other for example patients they have to give their informed consent before starting the surgery so physicians have to take the informed consent from the patients without them they cannot start the surgery for example i am doing research on one of the autoimmune disease known as lupus and i have to diagnose the lupus patient so i have i will use a special criteria special standard for the diagnosis of those patients so for that american college of rheumatology has described the criteria and lupus can be described or diagnosed by acr criteria so follow the criteria all over the world it is same whether it is the diagnosis of lupus or informed content a contest it cannot be changed the third origin of bioethics is the origin of bioethics as a phenomena we are taking a thing as a phenomena for example the origin of environmental concerns we are taking it as a phenomena now how the ethical issues related to the environment arises it can be through virtue of public concern that public is concerned regarding the environmental issues secondly it can be due to the development of new technologies for example improper disposable disposal of the nuclear waste or it can be pollution or it can be any other form that can affect the environment now after second world war number of factors affect the growth of bioethics number of factors affect the discipline of bioethics and one of them is advances in biomedical sciences for example frog was cloned in 1950 and in early 1953 watson and crick they gave an idea of dna they described dna they described the structure of dna later massive advances takes place in the medical sciences for example cloning of a mammal known as dolly which is which was a sheep so transplantation and deciding the sex even the diagnosis of the genetic problems at the embryonic stage then environmental concern ethical issues related with the environment so all these factors number 1 the biomedical science environmental issues or the ethical issues related with the environment they all build up the discipline of bioethics so we can't ignore any one of them